Well, hello there. And, well, just a quick update for before the video starts, alright? Alright, so, I have a uh, part two of my um, final Halloween video for this year finished, but... The one thing that uh, hasn't been a, uh, added in yet is, well... Lori's voiceover in the final part, and... I'm having some difficulty trying to find a, um, a voice actress to do the voice of a, uh, Lori. Yeah. Instead of using, like, a, uh, text-to-speech software, I decided to, a, uh, to get some random people to do a, uh, a voiceover for a, uh, Lori in one scene. Yeah, so if you want to voice a, uh, Lori and... You want to uh, be featured in the, uh, the the final part of this uh, uh, Halloween video? Please let me know, okay? And I'll send you the script and DM. Yeah, all you have to do is record the voiceover on your phone or whatever recording device you have, and you're all set. Okay, good. Enough about updates, because today. I'm actually going to be doing something really daring. Yep, that's right. I'm going to be installing Windows on my 2006 iMac. Yep. And of course, well... I'm going to bring this even further because... I'm going to attempt to install Windows 10 on this computer. Yeah, Windows 11 has come out, but for some reason, Microsoft thought it would be a good idea to abandon support for all Intel-based Macs. Yeah, that's a bad sign right there. I mean, what if people still own their, like, old Macs and they want to run Windows on it? Haven't thought of that, have you, Windows? I mean, Microsoft. Alright, so, the first step of installing Windows 10 on the 2006 iMac is to, well, use my copy of Windows 7 that I got from a thrift store. Yeah, this is really cheap. And, of course, I will be doing this. Yeah. Well, I will be doing this On screen with a uh, my iMac. I'm not going to show you the whole installation process, but I'm going to go there. So let's get to installing Windows 10 on the Intel iMac. All right, so we got the uh, the iMac ready. Got it all plugged in, and we're pretty much all set. First. We got to put in the disc. Yeah, the speaker is a bit knackered. Yeah, I got to replace the speaker of the say uh, computer. It sounds all a uh, fuzzy. All right, so yeah, which uh, version should we use? Yeah, we should use the 32-bit version. Why? Because, well, this is a 32-bit Mac. Let's move it around. I'm just going to move it around for... I want to put discs in. That's how it's set up. Okay. And we should press any key. Any second now.
Alright, so I, I uh, turned the computer on and off but again, and of course, well, it got different results this time. Yeah, we're in the, uh, the Windows loading screen. Yeah. Okay, so... Windows is loading files. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. Alright, let's do a jump cut. Holy crap! We're installing Windows on a Mac! Yeah! Windows on a Mac. This is only part of the plan though. But still, I always wanted to do this. I've never been able to install Windows 7 on anything but Windows computers up until now. Okay, let's go to the install. This is going to look exciting, man. I can already tell you. We are going to have a field day with this one. Yeah, set up is starting. Accept the license terms. Yeah, the EULA. The EULA. And of course we... We got a problem. Can't be installed on there. Yeah, we'll try formatting it. All right, so we got it formatted. And let's wait. All right, we finally got there. Let's type in the uh, the username and well, the name of the computer itself. All right, so while I'm doing this, here's a um, a clip of me petting my cat Lily. Yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of a, uh, what Monster Island Buddies does, that I think it's pretty cool. So, here you go. Okay, we're in there, we're in the home stretch, let's look away, Okay, 
Is the computer pointing this way? Alright, it's pointing this way, right? Okay. Next. <laughs> Alright, we have to put, type in the product key. This part will be skipped over. Alright. I didn't want you all to see my uh, product key. Because, well... I don't want the computer police to come I mean, I don't want the computer police to come after me. That's why I don't show it. Okay. And, well, let's set the time. This is gonna take a while. Alright, we're uh, almost ready. Your activation period has expired. I'm going to look at my, uh... <clears throat> A problem occurred when... <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so we ran into some hiccups. Yeah, it said that the uh, the copy of Windows Ten, I mean Windows Seven, is not genuine. <clears throat> Even though, it is a genuine copy of Windows 7. But, that's not our uh, goal. We have a stretch goal here. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason the product key is not validated. And I have no idea why. But it did say activate within 30 days of installing.
<coughs> All right, so I fixed the problem. It's a really easy fix. You can either do this two ways. You can either go into the command prompt and type in a uh, SLMGR, then space, then the, um, press the minus key and type in rearm and you're all set. Or you could go into the, uh, the registry edit and type in the hexadecimal value to zero and then type in the command. Yeah, it's a pretty simple fix and it got rid of the, uh, the message pretty easily. So now, we're all set and ready to go to install Windows 10. Yeah, we're gonna be upgrading this computer to Windows 10. Let's go. All right, we got the, um, the USB flash drive ready and we're gonna go to x86 and go into setup and we'll be all set. I am very excited to install Windows 10 on this computer. Yeah, Windows 10 on an old iMac. Oh, it's, it's preparing. This is an event. Yeah. Is able to install Windows 7 on it now. Windows 10, here we come. Oh yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, it's just checking your PC. But it's not really a PC, it's a Mac running Windows. How cool is that? Alright, so it turns out that I need a product key for Windows 10 as well, so. Yeah. I'm gonna have to keep you updated. But still, we managed to install Windows 7 on this computer, and that's pretty cool. This video will likely have an update in the future. But until then, let's enjoy Windows 7 like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to install Windows 7 on an old machine like this. But still, our goal is to install Windows 10, and hopefully... We'll get a Windows 10 product key, and one that hasn't been expired. So, see y'all later. Peace out. Oh, and I'll keep you updated to let you know if anything happens. See ya!